Hello everybody, we're coming back to you with another XPS 15, uh, model 9520. We're going to be replacing palm rest keyboard assembly on this. It also comes with a touchpad. It's a pretty tricky replacement. Uh, everything's got to come out of the laptop. The display's got to be moved over. The motherboard, the speakers, the battery, pretty much gutting the entire thing. So pay attention to this one. I'll show you some tips and tricks and some shortcuts to uh, help manage the replacement and uh, help you to complete it a lot faster. Once you get this um, this process down on this laptop it becomes quite easier but there are a couple of tricks on this one. Uh, make sure you do good screw management on the table around you. So a lot of different size screws that come out of this one. We're going to start here by uh, disconnecting your battery. Once you get your battery disconnected, then uh, eight screws, four black across the top and four chrome across the bottom. And again, just manage all of your screws together. Keep them separated. Um, I, I like to set the components near the screws that held it in so that I know what screws exactly went back into that component. Now on this particular model, you got uh, your speaker wire is taped to the bottom of the battery. Uh, just leave that tape in place. No need to remove the tape. That'll just waste time later having to put it all back together. Once you get the two screws off the bottom of your speakers, you're going to disconnect the speaker connector from the motherboard. And it just comes right up with the rubber boots and all. If those rubber boots come out, they just squeeze right back in place. And remove my cable from the management and out comes the battery. There's the tape in place. Battery and speakers come out together, set them aside. We're going to disconnect our motherboard, or our, sorry, our keyboard to motherboard uh, ribbon cable. And over here, I'm removing the bracket that holds down our Wi Fi antennas. And once you get that out of the way, then you can take your pry tool and carefully pry those antenna connectors up. The new palm rest comes with new antenna cables and now this assembly that I'm undoing up here I recommend sorry my hand was in the way there but I recommend you set them in order from right to left so I take the top bracket off of these two screws disconnect my IO card and motherboard cable connector set that to the left of that and then one screw that gets the, the last bracket off set that to the left so that I know when I'm reassembling those I go from left to right then the la lastly you got your power button ribbon connector that you gotta disconnect you know, I've seen a lot of techs mess this part up and uh, they get screws in the wrong place and they kind of get stuck on that so and I take out my fan screws one remaining screw on the left two on the right now I'm gonna start with my anchor screws take off two screws and a bracket on the right side I've got a couple anchor screws, four anchor screws along the top. Now the anchor screws, these ones near the video connector are smaller. So again, make sure you realize that those are smaller and those go back in the correct place when you're reassembling. So the four are off across the top. Take out my anchor screw for the I.O. card. And then I've got a final anchor screw there between the M.2 slots. I'm going to remove four screws off of each hinge assembly. When you pry these hinges up, be careful not to pry against the, the circuitry or anything that's sensitive that could break. So I'm kind of going from the side. I'm not prying it against anything that'll bend or kink. Just enough to get your fingers under there and you can just move them straight up. And now I'm prying the motherboard up a little bit. Just double check and I'm just doing it slowly. Make sure that I got all my anchor screws out. And you can see I anchor it up. My video cable is still connected there. No need to disconnect that. Once you get those up, the palm rest lifts right out from underneath your hinge assemblies. So out with the old and in with the new that right back in place. Now I'm going to fold my hinges right back down on top of the 
palm rest. And at some point I'll come back and I'll start throwing screws in there. Bring the motherboard heat sink fan assembly right back down on top. And here's where you want to take care not to pinch any cables or forget any. On the left side here, we've got our power button ribbon cable that's got to come up and be exposed over the top edge there. And also on the left, we have our Wi Fi antennas. These are new, so they got these little sheaths on them that we want to remove. So I'm carefully getting these up on top here. Okay, so once I got those three cables on the left exposed, then... Move over and remove our keyboard connector cable. And I'm just carefully positioning everything, my fans, Make sure all the screw holes line up, make sure everything seems to, to sit flush. Your motherboard should sit flush, all the connectors, all the holes and everything. If it doesn't sit flush, there's a chance you might have something still pinned underneath. I'm going to start uh, replacing anchor screws and I got my hinge screws that I'm putting in. Some people like to put one on the left and then one on the right to make sure that your palm rest is properly aligned with your display hinges. You want to firmly tighten those hinge screws. Those uh, tend to, if they're not tightened, they might loosen up later and cause problems down the road. Okay, notice on here on the left, I'm putting the bottom right screw in the fan. Didn't do the left one. So remember, we're gonna, we have to reassemble the left one properly. I'll put my two screws in the right fan. We'll return to that left fan screw again. Show you how I reassemble that. Let's get our anchor screws across the top. Remember these are different size screws. One on the far left and one on the far right are, are a little bigger. The two in the middle towards the display connector bracket are smaller. Notice we didn't remove the screws off that silver bracket. That's the bracket that holds your display connectors in place. No need to disconnect that one swapping out our palm rest. I'm going to get my I.O. card in up here. You notice I'm putting that underneath the fan mount. So that, that goes underneath the fan mount on the left there. And I get a single anchor screw that goes in the top of that I.O. card. Don't forget to connect your power button ribbon cable. I've had to go back and redo a lot of these from text that would forget it. If that's not connected, your power button won't work. Carefully get that in place, make sure it's seated properly. Now we're going to start from the left to the right. See, I get my first bracket in. This one has a single screw on the top hole, not the bottom hole. Then I get my I.O. to motherboard ribbon cable in place. Make sure it's seated well on those connectors top and bottom. Now I get my final bracket in. That sits on top of your fan on the right. Two screws to finish that one off. That is the proper assembly for that, that order on the left. I'm using my tweezer pliers here to get the Wi-Fi cables reconnected. Be patient with this process. I've seen a lot of these get damaged from impatient techs. Sometimes they snap right in place and sometimes they don't. Like this top one here, you'll feel it click in place and you'll know it's on. 
The bottom one I struggled with and I figured I'd let the camera roll while I was struggling with it so you can see sometimes how difficult these can be. But what I see happen a lot is techs trying to get these things connected and they get impatient after a couple of minutes trying and trying and then they, their impatience they start to mash down and try to get it to click in place and for whatever reason they don't have it aligned just right and if it's not and you put too much pressure you can bend the, pr the brass connections and that'll, that'll damage your card. These are integrated Wi-Fi cards, so you damage those, then you're having to replace the whole motherboard. So just be patient with it. You can see I, I was struggling a little bit here to get mine on. was quite the struggle. Looks like we got it finally engaged. Once that's done, then we bring in our, our bracket to hold those in place. Get our keyboard ribbon connector back in place. I've seen these forgotten too many times. Once you get everything back in, you get your battery in. If that's not connected, you power up and your keyboard doesn't work. And unfortunately, that battery would have to come back out because it's so close to that connector, it's very difficult to get it in if the battery's in. So, get our uh, right side bracket back in, two screws. Always like to do a quick scan, make sure I've got all my connectors in. Now we bring our battery and our speakers back. We'll just sit right down on those rubber boot posts. Do a little bit of cable management along the bottom. And because we didn't remove the tape off the battery, once we get the right speaker in, we'll just fold that battery right back up in place. Finish off with my cable management along the bottom there. And uh, you can see I forgot to reconnect the speaker. I'll realize that here in a minute. But four black screws across the top, four chrome screws across the bottom for your speaker. speaker connector back in or my uh, battery connector back in and then I realized uh, right before I put my cover on up oh, I forgot my speaker connector on the motherboard so I typically do that before I connect the battery but we appreciate everyone watching today we're posting new videos mostly on Dell's we work at Dell Contract. We get these uh, several different models that we're doing a day. So we'll be posting new videos every day. Uh, at the end of this video, you'll see a subscribe button on the right. Click on Tech Qualities and uh, please subscribe. We'd love to see you back and feel free to comment. And uh, if this video was helpful, appreciate a like on the video. Once you get this bottom cover back on, back hinge covers go over first. Make sure that it's properly seated in the back or you'll struggle to get that uh, get your screws in the bottom cover. Thanks for watching all and have a wonderful day.